Hey guys, this is Nick Wytrack with TechInformed.us, and I'm coming to you today with a video of my Sony Hackintosh. That's right, it's an Apple computer, and it's not. Now, this computer has been sitting in my junk, in my graveyard for a while, namely my basement, um, because uh, the hinges are slightly broken. If you see the tape. Um, it doesn't close, so it is kind of stupid, but it's better than nothing. And it is the first successful hackintoshing I've ever done. I tried it before, there was an error that was persistent and annoying and no one understood. So I just kind of dropped it. Until now. So yeah, fully functional. As you can see, I got, got spaces going. And I got Safari. Every update, besides the 10.5 point, you know, the whole software update, you know, everything works. Now I'm going to try to get a little closer. I hope my camera can keep up with me. Yeah, it thinks I'm a Mac Pro. That's kind of weird. That's the most expensive computer that Apple has, and it somehow assumes that the five year old. Sony Vio is a Mac Pro. So, if you look over here, MacBook Pro, MacBook, not a Pro, just a MacBook, and we're open to the same page. Do, 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 do. Charger, because the battery on this is absolute trash. I'm thinking of fixing up, fixing up the hinges and everything. One issue I've been having is the fact that the wireless internet I'm connected to right now, it doesn't work when there's a password. I tried some other dude's internet who lives next to me who didn't have a password and it worked just fine. But the one with the password freaked out. So far, I've had this computer for about two and a half days. It's had one kernel panic, which I believe was due to me um, overloading the hardware. You know how sometimes when you open a lot of programs or are doing a lot of crap, it just, just like freaks out. Normally, you get the BSOD if you're on Windows. Not anymore. But on Mac, you either wait and close the programs that are messing up your computer, or you get a kernel panic, and I got it once. It was when the internet was acting weird, because, thanks to the almighty, awful, horrible, nasty phonage that takes the internet th from my router, not to the wireless router, but through the vonage box, and the vonage box gives the internet back to the router, and the router gives it to the... You know what? It basically steals my internet. It connects from the wireless router, but the wi it connects from the regular router that connects into the wall, the, and then it goes to the Vonage box, then the Vonage box takes it to the wireless network. So, every time that I don't like start them up at the correct times where one starts up faster and it doesn't get the internet right, when it freaks out, nothing works. If it says your cables are messed up, it never says we, this Vonage, this Vonage box has encountered an error. It says check your internet because we can never screw up. I'm ranting, but I hate Vonage. Oh yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to get a Hackintosh working. Um, if you'd like to see a video of me doing it, I... I, I can I I I I'll redo the install. Show you guys how it's done. Um, you know, leave a comment below. Uh, like it or dislike it. I don't care. And subscribe. All right.